All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, uh, so far so good. Things continue to recover. We'll be back to normal before you know it. Well, except here in New York City, but most of, well, hopefully, most of the world will not be like New York City. So, um, and people are getting increasingly annoyed with the shutdown. Well, actually, angry is the more appropriate word. So, uh, yeah, and. Th Markets seem to agree. I mean, shit, Rimmel's, you know, up quite a bit now. You know, maybe I should have bought uh, uh, last Friday when I had one chance to buy Rimmel at a buck fifty. Uh, the problem is I already feel tapped out, right? So, you know, that's kind of like the issue. But even if I did, you know, well, I turn thousand fifteen hundred bucks into I don't know fifteen grand or whatever. I mean, that sounds like a lot, and it, technically it is. But you know, I really wanted the fifty thousand into 1.2 million as i did in yesterday's video uh but that's okay you know it just means that next time i'll just know i mean the problem is it'll be it won't matter because i already will be a multi-deca millionaire at that point but hey you know what if i got 20 million if i'm worth 20 million dollars at that point and then you know i double my money to like 40 million only risking 1 million which i could i mean yeah it'll suck to lose it but i still have the other 19 million plus my assets so i think it's worth the risk Right, you know, so it like especially you know considering the situation, so and I, I'm obviously gonna be a lot smarter with, with money, more knowledgeable too. So you know the tools that I have now that I talk about teaching you for free, you know, imagine you know what what I can do in five, ten, fifteen years, you know. So uh, yeah, I just kind of wish I knew this shit before and then I rediscovered Christianity back in high school or uh, even the beginning of college or something, but. Uh, you know, well, you know, uh, it's just how it goes. Oh, yeah, I also noticed, like, the Target, it's actually full of food again. It's like, you know, people are finally, uh, so things are actually going kind of back to normal. So all we do is just reopen America, and that'll be that. All right, so April searches, nah, no, it did get released this week. It's down to 12, so it's declining, which is hilarious because interest was going up as prices were going down now that prices are going up their interest is declining so it, it just goes to show that most people in the world just don't understand anything about making money especially cryptocurrency and they're just letting like an actual opportunity uh pass them by so oh well i'll get rich you'll get rich the rest probably won't and it's going to be their own fault, all right? They can't blame anybody for it. They're not the rich, not the commies, not the capitalists, not no one like them, except themselves. Because none of these people are saying you are not allowed to buy cryptocurrency. Well, unless, of course, and actually, yeah, no one, not even China or Venezuela. It turns out that's actually a myth, right? And even if, even if, well, maybe Venezuela, but even if they did, like, there's nothing they can do about it, right? I mean, Maduro already has his hands full, like, shooting up his own people or something. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, all that and the whole globalist evil agenda has, like, breathing down his neck a little bit. Bitcoin dance is at 64.2%. 24-hour volume is pretty healthy at 147.5 uh, billion. Bitcoin's pretty steady at 7270, so it's going straight up, 45 degree angle. Looks like it wants to pause a little bit. That's fine by me. Litecoin's back up, 4579. I don't know why these numbers are like green or red or whatever. It's like, I don't know. But coin market, the thing on the right hand side has been fucking up since yesterday, so. But all we care about is that things are going up, things are stable, and they're not really going down that much. So the worst of it is really over, all right? All that remains is for Trump to win re-election. And so far, it's looking pretty good, all right? Trump still has a pretty comfortable margin over Joe Biden, so. Uh, Don Coins at 248.4 uh, million market cap. Uh, Steam is at 17 cents. I don't know what Hive is at, but I did buy some cheap Hive yesterday, so I definitely made sure to get that uh pandemic developments yes i actually do want to yeah i definitely do want to do that all right see this is why firefox is such a terrible uh browser craft Heinz mac and cheese sales are soaring i'm not surprised that shit is so good i don't have it even though i easily could because i'm trying to lose weight one third of americans miss rent payments in march i'm not gonna oh in april yeah i don't have to read this because we already know this um, so, all right. Uh, so it looks like the market's actually, uh, priced it in pretty well. That's when the markets are going up because they're already preparing for the worst, you know, but 
and, and then we get the actual data and then things go up or down based on it right expectations GM to supply 30,000 ventilators in a half a billion dollar contract. All right, so let's see. Remel is up to $2.72, 73 So, all right, it's well back on its way up to its original glory of $27 a share. So I think when everything goes back to normal, my stock market account should be worth around eighty six dollars to $110,000, I think. Uh, which may sound like a lot of money, but it's really not because I have to hold the shit for at least one year, obviously, right? Because of capital gains tax. But number two, I need to extract my money as much as possible. Plus, it's also the safest time to hold it because the market's already got like, you know, ass raped without its consent thanks to coronavirus. So basically, it's the bottom, right? You know, unlike 2008, 2009, where like I wanted to get in, but I couldn't because everybody kept fucking me over. And I was just a poor college student at Baruch. You know, it's like, yeah. but nowadays, you know, it's it, it's a, it's significantly better right now. So uh, RF is nine dollars seventy eight cents. It's up a nice chug. Microsoft's up a little bit. And of course, piece of shit AMZA, you know, it's going up, which is great, but I can't do cover calls on it. So uh, that makes me unhappy. Uh, but, oh well, whatever, you know. Uh, eventually when my RF, you know, reaches back to $16 a share or 14 to 16, I'm going to start looking at doing covered calls on, on RF, try and start get extracting a little bit of money from my, uh, RF, uh, stock. Uh, I could have done the more risky thing and just put all my money from, you know, into Remel, right? MMRL into Remel, but that's generally not something I propose because what I always teach you, you don't want to maximize your return. That's how you lose all your money. Because, yeah, it worked out today, but what if I was wrong, right? What if Rumble goes to zero? What if they actually, Credit Suzy does do their call to write mandatory redemption thing? I don't know why people in articles are saying there's no mandatory redemption clause. They do have, technically have it. They call it call to write. But I guess for some reason they don't consider it a problem. I do, right? So, but whatever. Maybe it's a mistake on my part, but, you know, it's better to play it safe while doing something risky because you're already taking a lot of risk right it's already risky going in a realm and i chose to take the risk anyway right it just turned out to be good which is great right because remember once we start scaling right in 5 10 15 20 years or whatever i'm still doing these shitty youtube videos hopefully with a slightly well hopefully with a much bigger audience right if i'm putting in a million dollars do you think i'm gonna be like well you know i lost all my money <laughs> right <laughs> You know, time to move in with my mom and dad who are now like 110 years old. It's like, no, you don't want to be fucking retarded, you know? So it's like, yeah, you know, you, you know, just be grateful for the gains that you have, right? But, uh, yeah, but so, yeah. So I'll put an RF, you know, uh, in the future when I do want to gamble, right? You know, if I have a lot of money, then, yeah, I could put in a million bucks and just go straight into one stock uh, or maybe two stocks, right? I would prefer to at least have two stocks, right? One is the high risk, high reward. So in, this, so in today's case, that's Rummel. And then you have the other, like more stable one, which in this case would be RF. And then of course you have the blue chip stocks like Microsoft. Like, you know, uh, it doesn't go up much, but it's slow and steady. And it doesn't go down too much because it's slow and steady, right? You know, the risk is the least with Microsoft. RF would be like the middle of the road, right? So for all you middle of the road types, and then of course you got the real money maker, which is the high risk, high reward uh, payout. It's just like Tarkov, high risk, high reward. Though in that game, because of the way it's designed and because of the so many fucking cheaters, uh, you're better off just doing high, uh, low risk, high reward. That's why you see people running around with fucking hatchets and pistols. I personally just go with a fucking backpack and a pistol, right? And, and yeah, just make on like a bandit. It's 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 so dumb. It's so dumb. I'm kind of like my game won't have that problem ish Because I like the concept of having a budget run like people are running out of money because I want money to be valuable in my game uh, And then you know it makes everything it makes people like really grateful for like even the shitty loot so uh, Ask a 250 billion to replenish a small business load program. Yeah, so uh, even Wells Fargo, even though yesterday I read the article, I think I did it on stream, right? And I, I assumed it was just being big evil bankers, but it turns out that's actually wrong. They just said they ran out because of the regulations and they need more, they need more money. So Steve Mnuchin's asking for it. He'll probably get it, right? Because Trump knows 
if banks and real estates go down, so does he. So uh, yeah, along and not only will he be kicked out of office, but he'll also be bankrupt too. So the Trump organization will be no more. So you know, uh let's see. So this is good. They're asking for money. This was twenty one hours ago, so it's probably after I finished my video. So that's good. Coronavirus crisis won't end until we have a vaccine. Napolitano. So I don't know why, but they're really hammering hard this shutdown and trying to really fuck Trump over. And I don't like it, but you know, whatever. They'll, the markets are going up, crypto's going up, everything else will be fine eventually, and eventually the truth will, whatever. And I assume Mike Cernovich must, be, I mean, is he actually doing something or is he still uh, getting angry at China? Because uh, I, I, I read on my dissident right website that um, he's now starting to get annoyed with, uh, well, he just calls it the new right or whatever. I call it the fake right. And, you know, Mike is kind of like always, you know, fake right friendly, you know, but he also said he's not a conservative. So like, that's kind of why everyone gets uh, irritated with him. But, you know, you'll just have to uh, accept it. Right. You know, but eventually Mike will, uh, you know, eventually his influence probably will wane. Once Nick Fuentes, the great person and true Christians, you know, rise back up to power. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I don't think they'll be able to keep power. So that's kind of the issue. Of course, I'm trying to make sure that happens. But, you know, uh, well, I'll, well, I'm will i definitely going to get rich. Then we'll see if I can get famous. Because I, I need to be famous in order to f have influence. And then I fix the problem. Uh, but I don't know. Will that really work? Well, I guess well, there's only one way to find out. I remember who you really are. Unless you've been in a spiritual retreat where you get broken down, you've never been like this. That's why I can't even want to tell you why you're moody. Lean into the pain. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I I love being isolated, right? I still don't like that other people are isolated because me knowing that other people are isolated just, you know, it's like, eh. All right? But knowing everyone else is living their lives, all right, it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about anything, right? So it's kind of like... It's kind of like concealed carry, right? I don't want, like, let's say I'm in Florida. I don't want to carry a gun on me, right? I just feel it's just way too dangerous, and I just don't like the karma associated with it, right? You know, you have a gun, it attracts other, you know, kinds of guns. Like, the good guns will, you know, good guys with good guns or good gals with the good guns, whatever, right? No, not a problem. But it's the bad people. It's like, eh. Well, on the other hand, I don't mind if other people, if I know they're responsible or I can trust that they're responsible, have a gun so that way if i don't have my gun there's a criminal and like i'm picking out at like i don't know what do they have in florida right you know in and out burger i, I heard so, i heard so many good things about it but i think they're only in west coast so i don't know let's say five guys i'm sure they have a five guys burger joint in tampa florida somewhere right and then you know some angry you know mass shooter type wants to come in and kill us all right well you know he, he's gonna get stopped right because you know, all the open carry, uh, Tampa, Florida, rednecks, right, and beer, uh, neck beards, right? There's going to be go, just 70 Sam, pow, 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 and then, you know, bad guy down, right? And then it's like, oh, that's great. Now I can go back and enjoy my burger, right? Actually, I don't know. I don't think we even have red. We don't even have rednecks in Tampa, Florida. I know we'll definitely have neck beards, you know, so. No, yeah, red, yeah, yeah, rednecks are more like rural south, right? Tampa is still technically a city. Actually, yeah, it's like 44% for Trump and 56% for Hillary. So, yeah, I mean, it's already kind of liberal-ish now. All right, that's what I feel. Oh, yeah, so anyway, where was I rambling about? Uh, so I guess it starts with our custody silent when our cops are silent for simply wearing a shield. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I obviously don't trust cops. But on the other hand, it doesn't mean, like, you know, just go out and be a hostile F word, you know, it's like, you know, if they're treating you like shit, then well, yeah, you know, like try, try and see you can record them out treating you like shit and then, you know, get it out there. But, you know, if it's a normal interaction like anybody else, it's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. So I don't know. I'm not going to play this because I don't want to make this video any longer, but, uh, Sue Chef for covering up the virus. Um, so technically, that's true. Uh, actually, did we do something still with Saudi Arabia 9-11? So that didn't, that wound up not working. Uh, it's terrible, and it has more COVID deaths a day than it typically has from all other causes of COVID. Probably it's not because people died of COVID, but not, uh, yeah, it's probably because of, yeah. I mean, it's New York City. We've got a lot of health problems. Actually, I mean, it's 
we just have a lot of fat people and old people and and that's it. and other comprom immunity compromised people technically i'm one of them so uh it was a violation of sequoia was ch choked a guy by police he survived jesus christ these people are like like yeah brazil is really going hard yes in fact she was trump on china policy who are you working for china yes uh, I mean, technically, um, I've been kind of just not retweeting any of it for obvious reasons, right? Because, like, you know, everyone's blaming China. All right, that's fine. Well, how come we're not blaming uh, certain countries in the Middle East that we cannot name or criticize? Again, that's why I'm getting kind of pissed. So, you know, I'm going to be taking mental notes of this shit so that when these same pieces of shit start, you know, uh, attacking Nick Fuentes, the true right, and the griper conservatives and us Christians... You know, for calling out the real truth, well, you know, we're just going to say, hey, you said the same shit about China. Why can't we say the same thing about, you know, this other country we can't name yet? Yeah, go fuck yourselves. So, just going to not do anything. But, you know, uh, this is good. This is fine. So, hopefully this will result in some kind of peaceful uh, leverage and then, well, rather, deleveraging from China and leverage over China. Not that it's going to really matter anyway, because you're competing against... Well, not only a large country, but they have a lot more people, right? There's what, what, 1.4 billion of us, and I guess 1.2 billion Chinese people live in China, ish, about, right? And what's our average IQ? 115, all right? Mine happens to be probably above that. I would say probably 131, 132, and 140, right? That's basically genius level, you know. Um, you know, I actually took a Mensa test, and I kind of assume it's kind of a scam just so they could rob you of your hundred bucks. But they said I'm very, I'm very likely to be eligible for their society, but I have to take their actual test. Uh, and they said you can only take the test one time. Uh, I, I, I guess so. So I don't know, but anyway, closed DC works. To, to full super moon. Don't care. Best shot of super moon. Well, it's actually kind of nice. All right. Uh, China is probably much needed global leadership. Democrats in the media. Wuhan funeral homes burned, coronavirus victims alive. Yes, they're cremating everybody. Uh, so the shit lives, and the media, of course, just doing more fake news terrorism stuff. I mean, on the one hand, I don't like people unfairly bashing China, but on the other hand, I also don't like people unfairly praising them, because that's how you continue the cycle of racist hatred, right? Because at first, most people are still being pretty cool about it, but most people are also very pro-truth, right? So they're going to be like... Hey, why is everyone lying to us? Hey, I lost my loved one. So that, what do you think is going to happen? It's like, oh, it's all China's fault. All right. And then that's going to metastasize into, you know, uh, start start attacking Chinese people in one form or another. Right. And it's not going to be in a good way. So, you know, maybe we were just a little straight up with people, you know. But basically, everyone's just being a fucking asshole on the left and the right. And it's kind of like starting to piss me off a little. So. Well, not piss me off, but I'm just getting irritated. So, uh, Twitter. Oh, hilarious. It doesn't even show up on my Firefox. Um, when you raise your hand in class, but forget to do the reading. Uh, eh. Really don't want to. Today, I was wondering if, Oil? Yeah, where is it today? <laughs> well, I, I was wondering if you. No, no, where's the price? Give me the price. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, How can you ask a question when you don't know the price? I'll look it up for okay, you. Okay, let me do somebody uh, else. Then. Go ahead. <laughs> Get wrecked, you fat. See, that's an actual neck beard. But, uh, I don't know, he seems like a friendly guy, but, you know, I, all right, I'll, since I don't know him, I'll, I'll not lay into the, uh, fat ne neck beer guy. Um, but if he was a shit lib fake news terrorist journalist, yeah, fuck that asshole. Well, yeah, uh, but anyway. Tedros Rad Dash for a ridiculous degree praising China on style of playing back with Daniel. He wouldn't even call it Panel until he basically bullied him into it. Uh, calls into, yeah. I don't understand why he's not being forced to resign yet, but he, he needs to be removed from his post. Oh yeah, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about too, all right? Um, on 
one hand, yeah, don't be racist against Chinese people, but on the other hand, he should have at least start saying, hey, this does look kind of bad, though, so we should probably start doing some sort of restriction. That's all he had to do, but he didn't fucking do that. Instead, he lied to everybody. So now everyone's finding out, because it's easier to find out, right? Because we all have fucking coronavirus now, and now people are going to not only hate him, but hate China. So it's like a vicious cycle. It's just... That's why I think... <clears throat> that's why I'm not a free speech absolutist, like a... The guy who runs a dissident right website. What I am is a truth absolutist. So I would change things so that you have free speech for the most part, but you're not allowed to lie. And if you lie and it's been proven that you're lying, then you're going to get punished very severely. And then we wouldn't have any of these fucking problems. Now, the problem is, I don't know if you can have a stable society like that. So I think maybe the best bet would be to just make it so that if you're lying, it will be a lot easier to punish you for it. Uh, so I, I think that would be a good compromise. Uh, okay. Doesn't matter your job's not ever seen, your time's decimated. Doesn't matter if you're a son of a... Doesn't matter if you're a hangar, resist socialism. It would be more apropos in Michigan or Pennsylvania. Standing on guard over, over their town with their AR-15. AR and over the past 50 years, the factories have closed, right? The jobs have left. The people have left. The schools have been taken over. Television, the Super Bowl, the Oscars have been taken over. Media has been taken over. <clears throat> All your stuff is manufactured from a foreign country. Right? You're on drugs. Your family's on drugs. You know, people that you know have killed themselves. They're addicted. There's nothing going on in your town. The only place that you can go is the big city, which is hyper-liberal, or a campus town, which is hyper-liberal. <clears throat> your daughter's a lesbian, and your son is... A dancer, you know, something like that. But I'm standing guard over my property. Nobody's taking my gun away. You, you lost the battle. You've lost the battle. They didn't need to take the guns. Have you figured that out yet? Oh, they're not putting an ID chip in me. No, no. Chemtrails aren't going to affect me. Oh. Yes. Nick is right. Uh... Let's see. Funny enough. And they wonder why they lose everything. enough for that uh i don't know that was a pretty nice digger oh wow 22 minutes well it was supposed to be a short article but that's all right so james c coins at six to seven uh, i proposed that i wanted to increase the apr and mitch actually got back to me yesterday so um you know coronavirus is really having a negative impact on germany so that's going to be slowing down progress for a bit but he said he wants to actually go ahead with the 404 coin swap first so we could upgrade uh the uh the wallet software and then also just reset the uh, <clears throat> reset the uh, APR on it and stuff to make the price better. Uh, in the meantime, 404 is at six to seven, which is proven pretty stable. Uh, you know, two by two is at sixty to sixty one. So so far the prices look pretty stable and good. Uh. Excuse me. And compound coins basically at 8,000 Satoshis of a dog coin to nine, a little under 9,500 Satoshis of a dog coin. So prices are <clears throat> very solid. And I'm actually thinking, because I think originally we wanted to make uh, 4.4 coin 40.4%. But the problem is I now realize, and I kind of already knew this, but now we have enough testing data that it just... You're not going to make any money. Like, JMC coin's been at 62.5% for a long time. And it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's stable, but that's all that we get. It just hardly makes any money. So it's kind of like, what's the point? So what's a good middle ground? And I just remembered Platinum Bar coin. All right, remember that coin? All right. Um, let's see. It is at 11 Satoshis uh, of a Bitcoin. So it's still pretty good. The problem is the developer abandoned the project so that's why it has problems but we didn't right compound coin didn't abandon the project at all they're very active obviously i'm very active 
So I'm trying to think, what's the highest APR we can get away with, but that's also low enough so that it, we just won't have to keep dealing with the uh, APR problem. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to think. It's going to be somewhere, I'm thinking anywhere from 100% to 200%. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's called 404 coin, but at this point, we kind of just have to just play with the numbers correctly. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Two, so two by two is pretty good. So yeah, here's the thing. Two by two is at 365 APR, right? But it's still very stable and the difficulty is very good too. So uh, I'll have to actually send them. Actually, let me make a send a message to Mitch right now. Um, uh, by the way, what did I set the APR to? Um, uh, let's see. I'm thinking it should actually just be a flat 100 or 200%. Right. I mean to make the coin stable, but we mint so little coins that you won't make anything. Kind of like what's happening. Then they have been to JMC coin. Uh, uh, all right, there we go. So, yeah, but I don't know. I'll talk about it with Mitch. We still got some time. I mean, we got to write out this coronavirus shit anyway. So, uh, let's see. Well, we kind of already went over the political stuff. So, Trump is already pretty good. Institutional picture ran for crypto's retail investors bought the dip data from Coinmetrics suggest. Wow, so rich people actually dumped their crypto. That's hilarious. And was normie people. That would be pretty consistent with what we saw here with rising in global interest. So that actually is kind of surprising to me. Uh, accelerated Tesla test drives is blockchain politics sell like digital transfer of the shipping industry. So that's gonna be nice. So my Amazon packages will arrive every day. Now, instead of you know forever please for old school progress computer system chokes on skyrocketing demand yeah i'm already teaching myself how to code so yeah and it's going pretty nice too um we did equipment yesterday it was actually surprisingly easy uh it was surprise i was like wow i'm kind of shocked i just hope it gets easier from this era now at least until i start doing networking right you know multiplayer shit Pay your probe to be a global superhero. Uh, that's why he was allocating one billion of his wealth to fighting to coronavirus. So you know, as much shit as Twitter and Jack Dorsey get, you know, at least he's actually putting where his mouth uh, mouth is. Uh, so he's going to uh, yeah. So he's actually so he's actually stepping up and spending his actual uh, wealth to fi uh, fix this retarded uh, coronavirus shit. Uh, where's Michael Bloomberg? Where's fucking Warren Buffett? Where? Well, Bill Gates is kind of helping out, right? He's got the foundation, right? So wh where are the fucking billionaires? I love to like virtue signal. Where, where the fuck are they? I don't see them putting up a billion dollars like Jack Dorsey is, and they and a billion dollars is a lot less percentage than you know for Warren Buffett than it is for Jack Dorsey. You know what? What an asshole, right? Uh, Mark Cuban at least kind of like is ish stepping up too he's like he's paying all his people too even though they're not working all right uh so you know he does he did he did the bare minimum right uh but warren buffett he's not paying his fucking seas candy employees he's like fucking piece of shit right he's like oh we need to reassure everyone's wealth we want the greatest socialist in the world i i got a butt plug up my ass no i haven't done that in a long time right but that's essentially what warren buffett's doing like a fucking piece of shit so yeah, when we do take all the billionaires' wealth, we'll start with Warren Buffett first. OTC spreads exceed. Da, 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 don't care. Uh, Decided about Bitcoin exchange. Bisc to steal two fifty k. I think I vaguely remember Bisc. I've never used them though. Um, that's hilarious too. Yeah, decentralization is really good. Uh, uh, or, de or a decentralized exchange is good. Eh, I don't know, I was never convinced, and this definitely does not convince me. So, uh, yeah. By the end of this, retail investors bought the dip as a tissue institutionals dumped. Yeah, what a bunch of idiots. I'm actually quite shocked institutional investors actually dumped their crypto. Uh, Trump's White House and gas and coronavirus, most tragic day. Uh, so it's CNN, so of course it's fake news terrorism. 
U.S. deaths near 13 cases, Wuhan lifts the lockdown. That's actually not bad. So they were saying tens of millions of Americans would die from coronavirus, not 13,000. Uh, uh, after for more supplies, liability. Uh, was ready to spread coronavirus. That's hilarious, and I'm glad they fucking arrested this dumb cunt. All right, so we already watched this. Uh, stock market news live updates. Stocks open higher as investors eye coronavirus developments. Yes, yeah, stocks rose Wednesday morning after volatility. Investors have been tracking mixed positive. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me close my bit heroes here. Uh, in this investor mixed try positive developments with hotspots clearly New York and Italy showing improved trends in new cases and hospitalization. Even as new deaths for the Emery at large this rose by the way uh Tuesday. Polydower with Francis Health Very Head Night Head Speak It's way too soon for all clear. Blah blah blah. Uh so a bit cabetic. Um I mean that'll be a tough pill to swallow. Uh, yeah, the soldier and Mary do eventually ease ultimately opening up the economy. Sounds much easier theory than it will be in practice. Alright, uh it's not a switch, but a process. Still, I'd probably have to know that the time of Shane Pack may be in the past at this point, carrying opportunity for less drastically defensive positioning for Margaret A. Uh, over offense. Uh, I'm not saying the outlook is positive, and conditions have changed such that caution is no longer as imperative. Yeah, so people are slowly opening up to the idea that, hey, we can be, uh, the worst is behind us, which is what I've said. And yeah, it's pretty obvious. On top of that, you've been telling everyone that millions will die, and so far it's only 13,000 plus, which is obviously still bad, but it's nowhere near. It's like, why are they over-exaggerating these numbers, right? And on top of that, a lot of people are dying with coronavirus with other health problems. Like, now that's actually showing up uh, as well. And Adam Townsend's actually been pretty good about that. Um of course, when Britt Hume, the big Fox News commentator guy, retweeted Adam Townsend, like everybody started getting angry <laughs> uh, at him. So, uh, by July, the new right will be completely in support of a Green New Deal. There will be dull some to see about just not as big a little book it. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Even the fake right doesn't believe in. Uh, climate change. We just want socialism that will help our tribe. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's uh, referring to here. Uh, our flu, uh, CD7, there have been, uh, uh, sure. Let's kill, check the almost 15,000. Okay. Uh, this is, there's a the pay as a POF, point of sales industry. Tomorrow I'll give my, uh, Toast, a cloud-based restaurant shower cuts 50% of center after raising 400 million at a 4.9 million D. Okay. Yeah, restaurants are going to get uh, hit hard. The airlines got bailed out, but not the restaurants, which makes sense because food is already quite plentiful. So, and the airline industry is more uh, important than, funny enough, the restaurant industry, right? It just means, guess what? It just means you and I are going to be going to Chipotle or McDonald's, <laughs> you know? So, half of... Over half of Chinese listed firms now claim to be not very profitable during Corona. Show would see rising prices from this time last year. I guess it's dead. Long live party reporting. What? Right, we took out one billion dividend last year. Now stable isn't paying their April rent. Uh, just wait till they ask for a set of relief. These capitals are pretty funny at this point. Uh, for April rents, make coronavirus. Yeah. It's uh, it's just basically rich people scamming other rich people. Though in this case, commercial real estate property owners tend to be not really scammers. They're just like they're just landlords. So, yeah. Well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, looks like I'll be uh, uh, I'll have to deal with this too. But I mean, these are all rich people attacking other rich people. So I think they'll be able to handle it. It's long, but amazing. You can point click the chapters. Epilogue, mail, uh, why was I reluctant about crime? I expect power. Okay. It showed on one party rule. Can't lose trust of people. It threatens over turn book 40. They keep rituals during quick. Uh, what? There's uh, always time to buy. Uh, yeah, she is like such a hot babe. I would totally ask her out too. Um, but again, I don't know if she's into race mixing, so. Failed to report on the uh, why does it still exist? Yes, I will retweet that. 
As I try to downplay the crisis, CCB pays below the fund. They don't think that well. It's it's their war budget. Sure. Uh, yeah. All right. I don't want to retweet too much shit, but yeah. All right. Uh, so far, I haven't, I haven't really seen any uh, government say pass pre a line of water because you can't probably, and they will. Yes. Well, they will, but that I think will put it down. All right, so I've rambled on long enough. If you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can get this uh, channel to continue growing. Uh, yeah, so coding remains pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to watch the integration video on Bracky's playlist today, but I'm not going to do any code. I'm going to take a break because uh, obviously on the weekends, I would prefer to do more coding there because it's the weekend. So, you know, everyone's going to be playing fucking Tarkov at that point. And yeah. I want to wait for Mountain Blade to come out with more patches so that when I play it, I get like the full experience without having to deal with bugs. I already have to worry about dealing with bugs when I do computer programming right, with my game. I don't want to have to fucking deal with it by playing someone else's video game. It's like, I don't want to fucking deal with it. So maybe that's actually where a lot of my frustration from bugs also comes from, like playing games. Oh shit, I got the tier 12 set. Oh, I got the shitty one too. Huh. Nice. What? Oh, I must have gotten this from like somewhere else. Oh, okay, cool. All right, it's more shards for me. That's all I care about. So yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm actually going to experiment with not doing videos on Saturday and Sunday. So I only do videos five days a week, you know, because now my time is becoming more and more constrained. So, but I'll make an announcement, you know, on the Friday video and then, you know, I'll put it in the description as well. So uh, just letting you guys all know that. So just in case you're wondering, hey, how come there's no content on the weekend? It's like, yeah, I decided to just take weekends off now. So I mean, there are hardly anyone watches my shit anyway, but the few people that do, you know, they tend to be, uh, the people that are very likely going to become multimillionaires like myself. So, you know, and what's the statistical, statis, statistical, try saying that fast 10 times and also spelling it out at the same time correctly without a mistake. Statistical percentage of millionaires per population world uh basically is it one out of one thousand uh what's the percentage of the world as millionaires just uh, who account for just 0.9 percent of the global pop now on nearly half of the planet's 361 trillion wealth this was an article written october 22nd 2019 so that's kind of interesting <clears throat> when it comes to sales and marketing your typical conversion rate like when someone actually takes action or buys or shitty product or whatever right i know all about that it's actually one percent on average so the world's millionaire population 0.9 percent so it's essentially the same thing so uh how many of the world are multi-millionaires uh high net worth individuals what is the top one percent uh do, 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 do. Now that's that's not even i mean that's still a lot of money but i i wouldn't consider it. first of all if you're top one percent you should be a millionaire uh, that's that's how I uh, measure it. Um, let's see. I'm starting to get hungry already. Uh, I know I lift weights. Okay, so yeah, one percent. Yeah, so that's probably what's uh, uh, happening here. So it's kind of interesting. Anyway, there gonna be a lot more rich people after I have my game out, assuming it actually works, right? Because again, I'm actually gonna go with just making the game. It's gonna be single player, and then once I feel there's a stable enough single player mode, I'll begin to slowly start adding multiplayer, and then just see how that goes. Right? I think the first thing that'll happen is we're gonna to try to figure out how to get PlayFab to start storing the items that you loot in the web browser. So even if, so, at that so even if people are hacking, it's gonna be calling up the info from the server, and then it just won't be any point. All right? So yeah. So we'll see. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow's video. Enjoy uh, the gains. You know the modest gains, right? You know I'm definitely. Uh, it's nice to see Rebel uh, skyrocketing to the sky. All right, it'll be back up to twenty-seven dollars a share in no time, and then I'll be enjoying those fatty, fatty little, <coughs> <coughs> those fatty little dividend incomes. Right, I'll get back my original principal. Right, because basically I bought it for a dollar, and then basically every year I get back a dollar. So it's like I have a hundred percent return. Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous. 
Uh, what am I going to do with the cash? Well, I've learned my lesson, right? I think what I'll probably do, I'll either use it to pay my taxes or probably just buy cryptocurrency, right? Um, uh, assuming it's even uh, kind of cheap-ish in the future, I doubt it will, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Oh, but the point is, I just want to be liquid in some kind of cash, cash out, because now, because now I've definitely convinced 30, 40, 50 percent cash position. Nick Fuentes is 95 percent cash. Oh, that's too much. He should have, he should have been buying during the dip. Uh, he hasn't really been saying much about it, but obviously I haven't met him in person, so you know. Well, I don't know. I'll probably talk to him about it when uh, he starts running his Groiper events across America. Then what will the uh, fake right, you know, do about that shit? And we got Alex Jones. You know, he's with us, right? Owen Troy is with us. Uh, I believe Emerald Robinson's also with us, too. Like, the fact that she left OAN uh, was kind of surprising to me, too. All right? So, yeah. Anyway, uh, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, a 404 Coin, and... Oh, we kind of need a thumbnail, don't we? Yeah, well, we're just going to be... I'm feeling lazy today, so we'll just use this one.